The amendment of tonight's agenda consists of on the consent agenda item number one, by this number 2012 200, which is continued to January the 14th, 2013. Item number four, ordinance number 2012 211, continued to January 14th. Item number five, ordinance number 2012 212, continued to January the 14th. Number, item number 14, resolution number 2012 R140, continued till Monday, December the 17th. Item number 15, resolution number 2012 R143, withdrawn. Item number 17, resolution number 2012 R148, amended and continued to January the 14th. Now on the regular agenda, item number 20, ordinance number 2012-29, continued to January the 14th. And item number 21, ordinance number 2012-168, amended and continued to January the 14th. So any, thank you, Mr. Crow. Does any member of council have additional amendments to tonight's agenda? I would like to submit an amendment Item number 14, that was the paper that Mr. Hilmer had questioned about. Mr. Hilmer has communicated that he got the response that he was looking for, and that's that it would be about 100 students per middle school to be in that program. And so Mr. Hilmer is would like to suggest that we not continue this paper, but move it forward to him. That's what? Number 14. That was a school paper on the red side. Go forward. That's fine. Go forward. Okay. 100 per middle school. Okay, do we need a motion, Mr. Crow? Yes. We are removing item number 14 from that list I just read. Correct. Do I hear that paper? I need a motion to accept the amended agenda as presented. So will Mr. Clark. Okay, we'll go in on the amended agenda. Mr. Conner? Aye. Mr. Sanders? Aye. Mr. Wilbur? Ms. Hampson? Aye. Mr. Vice President Robson? Aye. Mr. Jewell? Aye. Ms. Gilbill? Aye. Ms. Trammell? Aye. Mr. Tyler? Aye. Madam President? Aye. Aye. The amended agenda is before you. Thank you, Mr. Clark. At this time, uh, are there any papers to move we need to maybe continue? Yes, Madam President, we have two papers for consideration. One is item number 17 to direct the Green City Commission, I'm sorry, this resolution number 2012-R148. And the paper is to direct the Green City Commission to recommend in consultation with the Department of Procurement Services to the City Council any legislation, plans, policies, and programs imposing mandatory green standards for the construction of city-owned buildings and facilities with the cost of $5 million or less. The proposed amendment to that paper is as follows. Page 2, line 18, after the word directed, insert the text to study the city's existing ordinances, resolutions, policies, and procedures concerning the city's sustainability efforts as well as any applicable legislation proposed in the enacted in and enacted by the 2013 session of the General Assembly of Virginia and I will need an amendment, I'm, I'm sorry, a motion to accept the amendment to that paper as we're Mr. Tyler the motion. So moved. Council is voting for Mr. Tyler's motion to accept the amendment as read for resolution 2012-R148 and to continue that paper to January 14th. Mr. Connor? Aye. Mr. Samuels? Aye. Vice President Robertson? Aye. Mr. Jewell? Aye. Ms. Newbill? Aye. Ms. Trammell? Aye. Mr. Tyler? Aye. President Garcia? Aye. That paper has been amended and will be before you again on January 13th. 14th. Next item number 21, which is ordinance number 2012-168, that's to amend ordinance number 
2001-308-305 for the purpose of a museum for architecture with indoor events, a reception facility, an out-of-print book dealer, and a lodging unit to authorize the expansion of the number of types of permitted events upon certain terms and conditions. The proposed amendment to that paper is as follows. Page 6, line 16, after the word available, insert the phrase a copy of the contract for each reception event and a copy of the Virginia Department of Alcoholic Beverage Control license issued specifically for each event when alcohol is served. I will need a motion to accept the amendment. Mr. Samuels, will you make that motion? So moved. Council is voting on Councilman Samuels' motion to accept the amendment to item number 21, orders 2012-168 as read. Mr. Connor? Aye. Mr. Samuels? Aye. Vice President Robertson? Aye. Mr. Jewell? Aye. Ms. Newville? Aye. Ms. Trammell? Aye. Mr. Tyler? Aye. President Franciano? Aye. The paper has been amended and will be before you again on January 14th. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Mr. Clerk, at this, at this time, do you please call the list of speakers for the citizen comment period? 